Welcome back, America. I'm Betsy McCoy, standing in for Steve Malsberg. It's the Malsberg panel. So let me say hello to Christy Setzer, president of New Heights Communication. Thank you so much, Christy, for joining us. And hey, Betsy. a columnist for Breitbart.com and American thinker, C. Edmund Wright. Thank you, C. Edmund, for coming. Thank you, Betsy. Okay, let's get right to it. And uh, I'd like to start with you, C. Edmund. It, there's no question that President Obama has stretched his constitutional powers like a rubber band, uh, rewriting sections of Obamacare, imposing environmental regulations over the protests of Congress, uh, and, of course, offering amnesty to illegal immigrants. I hear many, many Republicans objecting to this, but it's a question of, about whether the uh, expected Speaker of the House, John Boehner, will take a tough stand on these issues. What's your view? <laughs> no, I, unfortunately, I don't think that that's a question at all. Uh, John Boehner in the House and Mitch McConnell in the Senate uh, have shown a pattern uh, for six years of uh, almost Neville Chamberlain type appeasement. Um, every time the Republican base or someone like Ted Cruz actually does something that ends up paying dividends in the next election cycle, uh, Boehner and McConnell and the Republican leadership remain uh, convinced, as does the uh, so-called conservative media, mainstream media, remain convinced it was the wrong thing to do. So, uh, no, I, I don't see Obama getting much pushback at all, unfortunately. Well, so there's a real division in the Republican Party. I hear a lot of noise out of conservatives like Ted Cruz and even Marco Rubio objecting, Louis Gohmert, Steve King from Iowa, objecting to these constitutional violations, repeated violations. But I don't hear much from Democrats. So my question to you, Christy, is why aren't Democrats who also took this oath of office, oath to uphold and defend the Constitution, why aren't they making more out of this? Um, I'm, I'm not sure what we should be making more out of, Betsy. I don't think that there has been any violation of the Constitution in any way, shape, or form. Um, I think that, you know, if you want to talk about people who don't want to follow the law, you can talk about the Republicans' 50 votes against um, Obamacare, or 60 or 70 or whatever it is now. The fact that, you know... How is that, that violating the law? The Congress the law can vote land. against the law as many times as they want. Yeah, how, how is they, that they violating have the law right to take to, a law it, is the law of, it is the law of the land, and so it seems to me to be a pretty terrible political strategy. Um, it, it's difficult for me to know what Republicans are Every talking Congress about when they has, say let, that, Let's just get one thing straight, Christy. Every yes. Congress has the right to repeal any bill that's on the books, any one at all. No <laughs> law lasts beyond that. Well, I, again, to me, it's, it's pretty terrible political strategy to think that a sitting president would repeal his would somehow veto um, his own signature uh, law that has become the law of the land and that now more than six million people have signed up for. So, uh, yeah, sure, they well, have the right to But we're talking about want, the but... rule of law. We're talking about the rule of law here. In other yeah. words, the president has delayed the employer mandate under Obamacare. What about this amnesty to the immigrants? Right, and again, I, I love when what Republicans talk about this as though President Obama has acted any differently or differently in any degree than other presidents who have had executive action. In fact, That's as you know very well, uh, I'm sure, he's, he's we can't let far, this far fewer executive actions than, you know, Wait a second, Ed, Ed, Edmund, him. just a second. Okay, Edmund, you, you'd like to comment on this? I hope so. Yeah, I don't, know what planet, I don't know what planet she's on, but there's never been an executive action in the history of the country as sweeping as the amnesty action. There's never been a bigger middle finger at the Except country. Except for the one uh, done by Ronald Reagan. What are you talking about? That what was, was actually amnesty? Whole, as you know, was, no, no, that, that one was done after the immigration laws were changed, afterwards uh -huh. to clarify it, not to reverse it. Right, Go ahead, exactly. Edmund. Yeah, no, what, what Reagan did, and I don't really support it, by the way, but what Reagan did was totally different, if nothing else, on matter it, it of degree. It was. It was much more sweeping, yes. <laughs> it it, it doesn't different. matter whether you're pro-immigrant, yeah. by the way, or, or anti-immigrant. I happen to be very pro-immigration, but the fact is that there's something called obeying the law. And again, I've not We're going to be back. This, this panel has a lot more to discuss. We're taking a break afterwards. More with the Malsberg panel.